all of it. Yes, we did. Although that breakdown on the level crossing back there took some serious time to get through. You know, it's cool that the other green engine I hear about that pulls the mail train is okay with us taking it as well. True, but we definitely do it better. We surely do. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, how long have we got to deliver this? Hmm, let me see. Oh man, we've only got half an hour. Oh no, we need to get to the other side of the island to drop this off. Well then, what are we waiting for? Crazy, but we made good time. Yeah, tell me about it. Your powers come in handy quite a lot, don't they? Yeah. Look, Tim, there's something I need to ask you. Sure thing. I need to know why you helped me. You know, against Stanley and all the others. You risked your own life to save me. You brought me back onto the rails, which I am eternally grateful for. But all I did was cause you a load of grief in return. Right, yeah, we probably had to have this chat at some point. Um, it's a bit of a story, but we got plenty of time before we get back. So shortly before I met you, I had a brother. You have a brother? Well, had a brother. His name was Ryan. His dream and passion was rescuing abandoned and abused engines and other vehicles, even people as well. He was quite successful in a few, but his most worked project was finding you. For about a year, he was trying to find evidence and come up with theories about what happened to you after the closure of the Minnesota Railway. Until one day, he ended up realising you was left there. So he got in his car and was on his way to save you. But even though there are many laws on drink driving, unfortunately, sometimes one slips through. His last wish in hospital, to me, was to find you and bring you back and bring you and Duke together again. Please, Smudger. Please live for him. I already am, brother. Don't worry. And I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> 